Good morning. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is like a cloudy day and everything, so we're gonna go head off to the dog shelter very soon. We're gonna walk some dogs because we couldn't do it the other vlog. If any of you watched it, because we arrived a little bit too late. And also we haven't been able to find, they, they accept like offerings like dog food, Dog, dog toys. toys, cat food, because they have cats around there. They're or the donation, things. but we, we went like to the main... blankets and stuff like that as well, they yeah. also accept. We went to the main supermarket, we couldn't find Jackal, so we're going to give him a cash donation today. Yeah, on the, biggest, because... on the biggest supermarket on the island, they didn't have any pet food. Nope, we no. couldn't find any, so I'm not going to search all the little small supermarkets, because there's quite a lot on the island, yeah. isn't there? We're going to give him a cash donation, get the dogs walking, we're going to give you a little time walk of the journey, and he will be providing for you. And then we'll catch you up at the little dog sanctuary. Yeah. This is little, and hopefully, hopefully, we get to cuddle a little puppy today. I hope so. <laughs> oh, we might be and able then, to walk one. Well, they don't really walk, do they? No. You've never walked a puppy, carry have you? Them. You end up carrying them because they don't end up walking. I don't mind doing that. Um, and then we, after that, we are going to head off into Skiafoss Town and do a little bit of exploring of all the little back streets and stuff like that. Yeah. Provided the weather's good. Show me, yeah. The, uh, show you it during the day and we'll go up to the clock tower where in Mamma Mia Sophie posts the letterbox however that's been removed now but we'll still show you the viewpoint won't yeah. we and then we're gonna go do a bit more exploring to the little mountainous area next to the runway yeah. which we've never been to so we're gonna do that and then later. we may pop past the airport and just if there's any aircrafts coming in yeah because yesterday was a little bit of a washout wasn't it oh yeah I forgot about that there's quite a few coming in today so yeah we'll, we'll get our journey going and then we'll see you at the dog shelter We just got to the dog shelter, so we're going to take them for a walk now. We'll do one dog walk each yeah. on a lead. You can't take more than one each because of dirt roads and if they get tangled, yeah. we fall over. It's obviously not good for them, so you can walk one, come back, do another one. And um, oh, we're going to go just one. while we're here. If you, they rely a lot on cash donations here. If you can't do cash donations, they like dog food, canned dog food. Not really so much because of the heat and the meat and everything, biscuits, cat biscuits, dog toys, cleaning, non-bleach cleaning products and that to help clean out the cages. So if if anyone brings any of that stuff, that'll be, they'll really appreciate that. Oh, so we're walking the dogs. My one's called Fly and, and Nelly's walking Meg. So these are, this, 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 this one's Misty being walked over there. There's siblings. Them so these two, there's this one um, and there's a little one over there. Um, these two have actually put in a bag, weren't they? Tied in a bag. Yeah. Just left to die. One of them is really weak. One of them, yeah, one of them. I don't think. Yeah. And they're so cute. Yeah, if it weren't for these guys, these, these dogs wouldn't even be here. If anyone is co coming here, if you want to walk the dogs, come early in the morning. Get here for nine, um, half nine-ish. Half nine, they start walking them. And if you can give a little donation or some food or some cleaning products to help them. If you want to cuddle a puppy, just ask them like we did. Got a cuddle little pine. All the puppies here have been adopted already, which is really nice. I think that one wants to see us back there, that you can see barking. And it's just lovely the, the passion that all the volunteers here are very passionate. Yeah. It's just lovely. Especially seeing them all rehomed as well which is lovely. Look at this little one, look. It's just so plastic. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. I have to make sure before. 
but some of them, if you can hear that, they're excited because it's so uh, in the mornings, it's all walkies time, so they get get really excited and then within about two hours they'll probably start sleeping. Yeah, just if you're in, in bit, Skiapos, think, yeah. please make this one of your stops. Yeah, just do it. It's I think you can get a bus and walk up. I'm not sure there's any bus stops nearby, but um, get a taxi if not, if you're not hiring a car, which we really highly recommended. One of the things to do in Skiapos, isn't it? And help. Just, just do it. You won't regret it seeing the dogs anyway. They're so cute, how can you? And we're going to see the cats as well in a bit. Hey, little one. Oh. So cool. How do you like your bank What's the best way to hold these without them? Wiggling. We wanted to show you the little story of the three little puppies from that come in a bag. If you want to pause and read this at any time, you can pause it. But these were all found in a bag and these are little brown pups that you saw stroke a minute ago. So we just finished with the dog shelter. We're heading back down to Scaffos town now to wander around the streets during the day. Yeah. Eddie's going to do a little time walk for you down to Scaffos town. Should have done it on a nicer day really or my bag clip but the weather's still a bit crap today. We've had a bit of rain. If anyone watched yesterday's vlog with us at the airport and that. It's a washout. Yeah and I think today's going to be the same. It's only about 20 degrees today so it's not too warm. It's why we're wearing jumpers and towels to wipe the quad with the food's the biggest expense here so um you know Obviously anything got, helps they have on, on average fifth between 50 and 70 dogs at any one time no oh, yeah um but at the moment i think they've got about 34 oh, okay that's about 34 quite a good so they're, they're low which is good because obviously people aren't getting rid of their dogs people they're rehoming the dogs which is great yeah and um, they've got quite a few of the dogs leaving in October. Yeah, puppies. about eight, eight or nine of them. Yeah. So they'll be down to about 20 so, something. Yeah, which, which is very lovely. Nice. But yeah, what we did learn is that overnight, obviously this isn't manned overnight, um, and they have people and they bring their dogs and they literally just chuck them over the, like, what would you say, a six foot fence? Yeah, six more than six fence. foot, no, that's about seven or eight foot. Yeah, they chuck, they chuck the dogs over the fence. Bearing in mind, it's a really high fence. People just disgust me, really. People yeah. like that. And people shot. need to be f***ing hung, drawn and quartered for doing that to yeah. animals. I tell you, if I saw someone doing that, I'd beat them black and blue. Yeah. Get me upset, especially reading their little posters up there, because it's quite sad. Yeah. But anyway, positive stuff. We're going to go to Scaffos Town, and then we'll see you there. Had a little walk up the high street and bought a few little gifts and a few little things um, which we'll show you a bit later. What we will do is, because I uh, know the weather's a little bit crappy, but we'll do a little time walk down the high street for you, just so you can see it again. We did one previously in another vlog, but you can see that. It was like two vlogs ago. But uh, when a gyros comes out, we'll give you our reaction, because we've never tried one before. It's basically just pita, chips, lettuce, tomato, onion, tzatziki, which I think we've had before, but I'm not sure what it tastes like, but I'm sure it'll be nice. Just got it. This is what it looks like. It's delicious, actually. Give it a try. Nice. Mm. Do you think I'll like it? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that is good. First time having a gyros. Tzatziki and that is really nice in this. It might be going for seconds. Who knows? One thing we are going to offer is it's called um, Fregio. It's our favourite ice cream shop. We'll show you because it is bloody amazing. This is my second, don't judge. I like them, the first time I've ever tried them. They're good. You don't always know when a place is always good because the locals, excuse the noise, the locals always come here as well at night so you always know they're good. They're pretty filling as well. Mm. So good, love it, yeah. Mm. just walking to her favourite ice cream shop now. As you can see, not very nice weather at the moment and it's raining. Yeah, and that gyros, oh my God. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Gyr I think they call it gyros. Gyros or gyros, but it's gyros, very nice. Gyros. Oh anyway. God, I'll be back there. And they're only two euros each. 
Yeah, bargain. freaking bargain of the century, that is. So our little ice cream shop's not far along the front where all the car rentals are. You can see all the motorbikes and quad bikes and everything. Our ice cream's are like three euros each, aren't they? We'll show you the inside the shop. Than lunch, but yeah, but it's freaking well worth it. Them. We'll show you the ice cream. You know it's bad when you come into the ice cream shop. The lady that normally works here is not working here at the moment. She but you know it's stuff. yeah, you know it's bad when they know exactly what you want when you come in and you don't even have to ask for anything. <laughs> We've obviously got our ice cream. I'm trying chocolate caramel. She let me try a little bit of clotted cream, which is a white speck there. Ellie's got the same old favourite. This is like the fourth or fifth one you've had, I think. I think I need help. I can't stop thinking about these. Every single day. No. Which is going to be a problem for when we go home. I'm not sure if we do forever show ice creams when we're at home, but we will be back here tonight to get more ice cream <laughs> after dinner, of course. Got to let a, a good few hours lapse before we come back and get ice cream. The plan is we're going to go up to the top and show you that clock tower where the post box was where um, Sophie posted letters to her dad to Mamma Mia. As you can see behind us, that clock tower, this is where the first opening scene of Mamma Mia was filmed where Sophie posted letters to her dads, Bill, Harry and Sam. Sam. Nice sweeping views overlooking Skiaffos town. You can see the little harbour, all of the terracotta roofs around the town. Also, it's a good spot to watch planes coming into land. We've yeah, seen a, didn't a little private jet come in probably 20 minutes ago. And then we just saw a TUI 737 come in over yeah. about 10, 10 minutes ago as well. You're very close to the airport as well, which yeah. before this trip, we didn't realise how close we are to the airport. No. Here, so. Just to know, the, the stairs are a killer to get up here. You will be get out of breath. Especially if it's a hot, hot day. Oh God, yeah. It'll be tough. It's obviously not hot, it's only 20 degrees, but at night time it's a very, very, very nice view. We'll yeah, show you beautiful. tonight. We're going to go have a look around the back streets now. Amazing. Also, we just wanted to note, they, they do free tests down at the harbour. We'll show you more tomorrow morning because we're going to Skopelos and we're getting our test done in the morning. It's a lateral flow test they do for free on the island. Yeah. And you just email, if you need it in English, you email it and put a photo on that be in tomorrow's vlog. And also, if you need a rapid PCR test, you can get that for 20 euros while you're here. So it's pretty damn good we just get mugged off back at home. We'll just uh, do a little bit more shopping and then maybe do um, a little bit of exploring over the island, which is over to the right over there near the airport. We're getting some photos around here, cute little places in Greece. And this is a piece of the resistance in Skiaphos. Look at that. Finishing the Skiaphos town, we've just come down by the airport. We're going to watch the Tui plane. I don't know where it's going from, somewhere back in the UK, Birmingham or Manchester, I think. Take off. And then we're just going to explore this island just over here behind us. You can hear us because it's bloody windy here. And, um,
we aircraft go. I tell you what, all them people by that wall, they not held their ground well for not running around, didn't they? Yeah, so one poor girl just fell over from the jet It was just nice seeing all the passengers waving as well. I don't know if them captain of that wave because we were waving yeah, they did, backwards. They did. They did. Yeah. Oh, so it's really nice to see that. Got the helm backwards ready. We're going to go explore that mountain now. Yeah. That was a bonus seeing that little um, propeller aircraft, that cloud. This cloud is rain cloud. So uh, it's raining now, so we're going to head back to go and get under the bronze. So we're going exploring. Look at the white. Freaking, this is taking the brunt of all the wind that's happening on the island. And by the looks of it, I don't think we can go anywhere. Summer's day, depending on the uh, way the aircrafts go, I think even now, when the way they're departing, if you sit here, you know, I think it's quite nice in the summer, isn't it? This beach. This beach is never like this with wind. I mean, the wind's worse today than it was yesterday. Plane to take off just exactly from there. Hey, this island we've stopped off, not island, the little hilly part next to the um, airport. You can see you've got a beautiful square scaffold, it's right there. Beautiful view of Skiafos behind us. We're going to keep going up this road ahead just to see where it goes. So we just made it up the top of this hill. It's pretty ropey getting up here with roads and everything, but we've got this nice view of Skiafos town from up here. There's not really much to see. It's a private property just uh, to the right of us. So I think we're just going to head back down. We're going to stop off at a restaurant on the way just to see if we like it for tomorrow night or Friday night. And then we're probably going to head back to the hotel, get ready and then come back down for the evening. So it's um, quite a few hours later since when we last spoke to you. We come to get back and we got ready and then the weather just turned to crap it has been chucking it down for the last few hours like really heavy and it's cold it's like about 18 degrees at the moment yeah. probably real feel more like 14 and when we're on a quad we didn't really want to get wet we didn't no. want to get cold we didn't want to repeat what we had, what happened to us was it yesterday yeah we didn't want we, we didn't want that to happen to us again yeah sorry we couldn't see planes land might show you some tomorrow evening just see but, how it goes because yeah. yeah i mean we wouldn't have predicted the weather was like this tonight Otherwise, we would have shown you tonight. But we ate in the hotel a la carte restaurant, which was all right. Yeah, plain pasta okay. with basil, pine nuts and cheesy chips. Which, to be fair, the chips were nice. They were like chip shop chips, weren't they? And being a vegetarian, that was the only vegetarian option. We could have the a la carte. We could have, yeah. but you know what? It was... Yeah. It had done the job. We tear so. it up. This is... Sorry, I've got this to eat in a sec. So, um... Yeah. Join us tomorrow, we're going to Skopelos. We're going to be going to Skopelos Town, Skopelos, going to Katsani Beach where they filmed Mamma Mia. And then we're going to Agios, Lanios, where the little church where Sophie got married in the final scene of Mamma Mia. Married. She didn't she get married right. at the church, they used it to film because we'll show you Wait, why she didn't married. get married there. Oh yeah, technically it was done there. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. So, with that being said, if you're new around here and you like our videos, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Yeah, and if you're new, hit the thumb, not, not if you're new, sorry, if you like the videos also, hit the thumbs up button because it helps us out massively and it helps push our video on to other people on YouTube as well. And then we'll see you next week for see you next week. our Scott Plus video. Ciao. Ciao.